Welcome back to Inside Marketing. I am Dan from BCMC Global and I am joined by Amber from Site Improve. He says, nonchalantly looking up at the logo just to make sure I get the name right, even though it was written right across your lanyard. So, first of all, uh, tell us a bit about who you are and Site Improve. So I'm Amber Bartholomew, so I'm in marketing with Site Improve, and we were founded primarily as an accessibility suite to make sure that people can understand and they can experience the full range of what digital tools have to offer. But now we've expanded into content experience and also into marketing performance. Okay, so how does content work with accessibility? Because we obviously web is reasonably well known, if not necessarily well executed. <laughs> But media, that seems like a much bigger challenge. Yeah, so content is part of a bigger story. When we think about the digital economy, we need to make it accessible to everybody. We need to make sure everybody can play a role. Then when you start to think about content, is your content designed for all audiences? Is it meaningful to all audiences? Is it able to be interpreted? This becomes really critical, especially as we come out of something like the pandemic, where we went all digital all day overnight. We've got to allow people to be able to experience the content, find meaning and find value in it. And that's just so much more than creating a piece of collateral and publishing it into the market. Yeah, totally makes sense. So what would you say are the top mistakes that people make when it comes to accessibility and content? It's not thinking about who is your audience? Why are they the audience? How are they your audience? We think about sometimes tops down. What do we think the executives want to see? What do we think the market wants to see? And we create something and push it out. We really need to be listening to the market. We're a much more empathetic marketing world now where we need to listen to what is meaningful to people and what's important. And then how are they going to consume it? Where are they going to consume it? And what tools are they going to use to make sure that, like I said earlier, that they can play a part in the digital economy the same as everybody else. So tell us how Site Improve then fits into that model. So we have an accessibility suite. It's uh, able to crawl people's digital experiences. They can find gaps. Is your page working? Is somebody who's using a visual tool to read the text because they're, they're vision impaired, is it going to hit a snag or an error because the code's incorrect? That is the bread and butter of what we do. In Europe, it's very important because a lot of uh, public sector now it's now required by law to ex you know make, make experiences accessible. Yeah. But then as we expand into, into content experience, the market is, is, is switching. And marketing has to be a revenue engine, not a cost center. So now we help brands take the content and take the performance and monetize that. We help marketing teams become successful because the, the reality is 91% of content that marketing departments create never gets used. It never gets ingested, it never gets put into the market. So anything you do has to be relevant and it has to be meaningful. And it has to be presented in a way that people can easily access that. Exactly. So I think a lot of people view accessibility as something they don't want to do as something that's an add-on they make the thing and then think how can I make this thing more accessible what would you say is the right way to go about thinking about content from the ground up to, to make sure that accessibility isn't just baked in but is actually something that's going to enhance what you create well there's there's statistics that show that if somebody comes to your website within three seconds if they've had a bad experience they're gonna exit they're going to go somewhere else. They're going to buy from somewhere else, especially people with um, accessibility needs. And accessibility isn't just the person with the seeing eye dog or the stick or a hearing aid. You've got situational disability, somebody who's had COVID that now has brain fog, somebody who's been in a car accident and they can only type with one hand because they've hurt their arm. We've got to think about how does, how does that become, you know, how do we create an experience that caters for everybody in the market where they are at that particular point in time? I mean, and how do you go about doing that? <laughs> or is that maybe too broad a question? Well, I think it comes back to the mindfulness of as you are starting to think about what is the market telling you, what is relevant, as you start to think through what is that, what is that message, what is it the, the value that we're offering, you start to think about accessibility right at the beginning of that um, and, and not an afterthought of now we've created this, I guess we need to make sure it's, it's able to be published into, into different areas. So that becomes really important. It's got to be part of an organization's fundamental. It's not just the good thing to do from a revenue perspective. It's the right thing to do from a, a moral and an ethical perspective. That's a really interesting way of looking at it. So if people want to find out more, what should they do next? Absolutely. Um, siteimprove.com. 
So what we do, we improve sites. It's really easy to remember. So siteimprove.com. Come and have a look at uh, what we're doing and how we can potentially help brands turn their marketing centers from cost centers into revenue centers, but also deliver more meaningful experiences to their customers. Fantastic. If I can ask you just one more thing about the event in general, how has this been? First of all, were you here in 2019 when it was last around and how has that changed between now and then? And secondly, how has it been for you in general? I wasn't here in 2019, but I was definitely out on the road pre-pandemic thinking uh, that this was the the normal. It's it's wonderful to be back in person and to build that community and, and get to experience everybody again. But um, definitely feeling it on the feet. You can tell we've sat on our chairs for the last two years. But Demexico is a wonderful event, um, brilliant technology, and it's really great to see how people have innovated over the last few years while we've all been sitting in our home offices. Absolutely. But I think the main lesson we can take from this then is always wear trainers. Always wear trainers. <laughs> Absolutely. Well, Amber, it's been an absolute pleasure. Thank you so much for speaking with us. And uh, yeah, we'll see you around. Don't forget sightimprove.com. And uh, yeah, we'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching. Thank you.